right guys welcome back to another episode of m creator lore so today what i'm going to be doing is fixing a few things as well as getting a prairie dog den set up so basically like a little dungeon type spawner thing i've tested a few different methods of actually getting the prairie dogs to spawn and i've d determined that going with just a regular spawner is probably the best one for this particular um, system. So what I just did was I put a um, pathfinding thing to basically prevent the entity for doing any pathfinding when the prairie dog is, goes into the standing state. Now I need to build uh, basically all the um, parts that are going to build up this prairie dog um, system. So I need to create like multiple structures and i started with the main core ones uh, which allowed me to kind of plan out how it's going to be in for their tunnels and stuff like that and yes i do actually want it to be sort of functional with the um the tunnels and stuff so i'm using this uh, dirt that i created a while ago for another project but um i ended up uh losing the save when i updated m creator so i'm like oh okay so all those barns that i was working on are basically gone unfortunately but um, i'm sure we'll come back to that idea in the future or something if i can figure out a few different things but um i still have the blocks and stuff that i was using for it so it's not a, like an entire loss or anything like that but i wanted to create kind of like a maze kind of thing that would uh, be kind of like chambers and stuff and um if the player places a trap door they'll be able to crawl in here as well so i kind of wanted it functional and i just wanted to fill all this in and basically have them all connect in a certain way so basically what i've been doing is i've just been kind of laying out this per particular part and I wanted to put a spawner in here um, in the corner there so I can basically go ahead. And I started putting some grass and other blocks, like moss blocks that we created in there. Um, just to kind of decorate it a little bit more. Over time, there will be um, grass that generates, like the tall grass, and um, it'll look really good. But because the uh, dirt blocks that, um, the what do you call it, the packed dirt that I created is not basically spreadable through dirt or grass it'll just kind of keep its shape there however this dirt right here though will uh, eventually spread so if we fill this in with grass it will start to spread though i did notice a few different um issues when i was working with the um actual dirt and the grass blocks themselves uh, mainly the main issue was they weren't always turning to dirt um if there was a grass block above a grass block. Um, I noticed this later on and um, it was just like a small bug, but I did fix it. I was able to narrow it down in the one script for the grass for the update tick. And eventually we, we, we went ahead and fixed that. But uh, right now I'm just trying to figure out uh, how to basically design the top parts and I'm just giving it a little bit of noise along the top here just to kind of decorate it a little bit more. And I wanted to go ahead and I think I was fixing up that issue right now that I noticed. So it was in the update tick and uh, down at the bottom here, it was just a simple uh, switch of an AND gate to a OR gate. So basically um, I just changed the light level if the light level was um, greater than eight or whatever value that is and then the tag was basically the opposite so basically what I was doing was just making sure that it's one or the other and that sh seemed to fix the issue so if you look now all the grass blocks are basically updated so that's good all right so basically this is goes down to the lower level and then that comes out and if you use a trapdoor at that lowest part there, you'll be able to kind of get into the uh, thing. So basically right now what I'm doing is I'm just copying over uh, the part over here for the time being because I'm going to need to um, restructure everything. But I put it on top for the time, like for that moment, so I could actually plan out how everything was going to go down um, for the stairs going down there. And that will give the prairie dog something to climb up as well as players to go down as well and go into the uh, 
uh, thing there. So I'm just moving the, um, what do you call it, the parts now, the top of the grass uh, for the two sections here over to the actual uh, parts that correspond to that particular part. So I'm just copying these two pieces over here and I need to go on to the side and basically place it in here. And there we go, we have two chunks uh, basically done. Now the top chunk here, I'm actually gonna create a jigsaw system. So basically when I go ahead and connect these two, uh, what will happen is I want it to basically align up with the parts here. So I needed to basically just set up a quick jigsaw system. Uh, for both of all three of these uh, segments and that will allow me to um, basically connect all of them. Now the reason why I'm doing that top part is because if I were to try to spawn the entire structure on the surface then the bottom part wouldn't um, totally generate underneath so I would need to and there's no way to actually shift the structure at the moment so we would have to um, create something that was a, like a template that we could follow. So that's why I'm generating the top part here. And then I'm putting it down into the ground uh, using the um, jigsaw block. So that part can basically generate. Though I needed to come up with the name. So I went with uh, Prairie Dog Den. And that uh, we can go with um, parts for our uh, what do you call it? our names or our pool name? So all the parts that consist of all these parts will be into that one pool called parts. Now I needed to basically apply all this to the uh, other jigsaw blocks and get them all set up. So I needed to go with B, and then we'll assign this to B as well. And I just needed to go ahead and make sure that all these particular parts are set up for the turns into the um, target names and the pool names. So again, I'm putting all the parts under the one pool called parts, and then we can go ahead and do that for any additional structures and stuff like that. So um, this took a little bit of time to do, and I actually went a little bit further and kind of smoothed out the, um, the actual uh, terrain a little bit more because it, it, it you'll see in a little bit uh, how it looks in actual in the actual game but um, yeah so basically I'm just filling in the the pools and stuff like that so I think it's all ready to go ahead so I'm going to grab a structure block and I'm going to go ahead and just start lining the structure blocks with the corners here on the access point and then I need to go ahead and uh, set up a corner block. So I'm going to set the corner to one and then set the name for the structure on one and set it to save. And then we can just quickly set up the boundary boundary boxes for each of these structures. So um, this only takes a couple seconds to do. Uh, they're a little bit finicky when you're placing them on top of each other, but um, basically I just need to do that. And then I'll give the structures a unique name later on after I get all the hit boxes set up. And that way, um, I don't need to calculate all the sizes and the height and play around with it. I just need to make sure the corner is one block above the highest block and the bottom structure block is below the uh, lowest point. I could also build with other blocks as well just to kind of get that top hitbox if I needed to. So again, just switching it to save mode and then to detect and that will automatically get me what I need for the structure size, so that's perfect. All right, now that they're all there, I can actually start uh, coming up with a name for them. Uh, this took a little bit of time to do, but I needed to also fill all the cave parts, uh, the part that's underground with the um, void, uh, or pardon me, not with void, uh, with um, cave air, because if it's regular air, it's gonna turn to stone, and we don't want that. So what we want is we want it to basically generate air blocks underneath if there's no air, right? Or if there would be air. So what I'm doing is I'm just basically filling in the uh, top parts with wherever that will basically connect to the other parts there. 
and anything that will basically be underground uh, with cave air. And the game actually uses cave air in order to uh, determine things like um, cave systems, just like that. Um, voids that will go under the terrain, it actually carves it out using cave air. So that's why I'm using cave air to basically tell the game that, okay, this needs to be empty in this area. If you were to use air though, that's what the base game actually starts at out as far as I know. So it will start off as air and generate the train. So we don't want that. All right, so last thing I needed to do is put in the prairie dog spawner and save that. And I should be good to go to actually start importing the structures themselves. So I need one tag. Uh, we'll need this tag for later on, but um, at the moment I'm just going to call it, uh, call it the, it's a built-in tag for the, um, animal spawn on or something like that and I need to assign my grass to that for my uh, grass block this will allow entities to spawn onto the grass naturally and um, though we're not using it for the prairie dog specifically um, I still want to make sure that the um, that part's set up and I also needed a tag uh, with the actual mod namespace not just the mod as the namespace because for some reason, structures at the moment um, don't provide um, the actual, like they just take the mod uh, part and put it into the file for some reason. So that's why I needed to create a new tag with the tails of biomes because I needed to make sure that everything was set up properly for the tags and stuff like that. But um, All right, so moving on. So we needed to basically add that tag that we worked on. And I'm just going to change some of these settings quickly. I'm going to leave that part. Um, we're going to go with bared thin and we're going to select our main structure. And I'm going to go ahead with um, setting the size to about that. And we'll set our pool name to parts and then we'll start loading in our actual parts here. So we need to set all uh, A, B and C for them. And then I can basically save the element and we can test in game. So, all right, so in game, I am in the world. I'm just quickly teleporting to the dimension, uh, saves killing witch every time. And I need to locate the biome for the plane. So I'm gonna go ahead and teleport to that location. And it's uh, negative 9686 and then uh, 290, so. We can kind of go there and I've noticed something with this particular thing. It is spawning above water. Uh, there isn't really a way to avoid that, but um, at least not at the moment. Uh, when we start filling in <clears throat> um, ocean biomes and stuff like that, we'll be able to avoid that no problem. But um, I did notice that only one structure is spawning. So I just flew around to see where the, another one is and it looks like only one is spawning. I'm going to quickly go under the ground here, just place a trap door and f I kind of go under just to see if everything is spawning just one. And it does look like it's only spawning one structure at a time. So uh, I wanted to go into the actual thing, just double check the... Um, the connection points and these seem to be all set up properly so the only other major thing that it could be is that the number here isn't far enough so I increase this to two and this should generate the sides because we only have a couple structures so going back into game this is a brand new world and I noticed that everything is generating accordingly so we can see how this is basically generating now it's kind of like a L shape and if we fly over to these parts, let's just take a quick look and see how it looks like over here. And I'm not like I'm not too happy with how it looks like on the uh, surface here. Um, kind of sticks out pretty badly, like a sore thumb. So what we're gonna do is we're going to go ahead and create a whole bunch of different variants uh, around, probably in a four by four grid. And I need to basically go ahead and. Um, kind of smooth out the train a little bit when it uh, generates just to make it look a little bit nicer so the prairie dogs are spawning in here which is great um, we have our spawner just over here so uh, people will be able to go under here and you know 
check them out and stuff like that. And they'll spawn underground, which is great. It looks like they're doing a great job of that. I kind of got stuck while testing um, in here because they just kind of went into the standing state. And I couldn't get past them, so I just kind of pushed them until I could get to the corner there. And eventually I could kind of slip past them and get out. But it is a little bit of a tight hole to actually go in. And yeah, so the corner pieces I definitely needed. So I started working on these, um, just creating and blending in the terrain. My original idea was to kind of uh, just kind of smooth it out like that. And then I don't think this will actually work too well. Uh, because the train below will just kind of generate um, with the uh, bare thin generation. So what I ended up doing was I just ended up uh, filling this all out with um, some grass and just kind of gave it a little bit of noise to kind of blend it in a little bit better. And uh, for the parts that um, need to kind of go up a little bit, uh, for example, I needed to branch this out a little bit more. But I, I needed to kind of blend in the parts that connect to the parts here. So eventually over time what I ended up doing was I created all the different parts and um, had them pre-ready for generating. And you might notice the grass is growing really, fra really fast when I'm actually placing all these blocks down and stuff like that. Uh, this is because I have the uh, game roll tick speed up just so I can... Yeah, you know, see where everything is going to be generating and stuff like that. I could disable it, but it's just easier to fill in with grass. I actually um, came up with a system where I could just build it out of dirt, and then I was able to uh, just place one grass block, and it would immediately spread all across the uh, thing uh, for the parts that I were work was working on. But it takes a little bit of time to actually set that up. So. I'll pause here and then I created all the structures. These are all the structures I needed to save them. There's jigsaw blocks all throughout these parts and I needed to make sure that the um, the actual structure were imported. So I basically imported all the structures here and that way we could basically go ahead and uh, delete the old ones that we created. And then we'll import all the other ones because now there's a couple extra additional jigsaw blocks on the, the ones that we did create. So I needed to make sure that all those uh, sides were properly set up. So that's why I'm importing them all. Um, I could have just dragged them into the structures folder in the uh, source folder, but I decided to import them all this way. It's just easier for me, com more convenient actually. Right, so I needed to basically add all the um, structure parts to the parts list and I'm still using the parts list so once I did that uh, we got the, all that part done and I needed to uh, just double check the structure parts for the size everything looks fine I'm going to increase this up to five so we have more than enough um, basically spreading parts that we can basically generate. So this is basically the end generation. Uh, we have our main part there, uh, the three parts, and then it kind of blends around a little bit more. Again, when we get the oceans all sorted out uh, in the future, it will uh, not generate in the water and stuff like that because we can use continentalists to put a different biome there. But um, yeah, overall, I think it looks pretty good. Uh, it does give it a little bit of noise. It, does, it is noticeable where it is but it does um, do its job and it does generate uh, accordingly. There are some parts that I have noticed that um, do generate a little bit awkwardly. Like for example, this one over here just kind of built up. But outside of that, um, pretty happy with the actual design and everything like that. I think it will be a good addition to the um, actual project itself and we might even do this uh, or something similar to this for uh, coyotes and um, because they they do dens as well right so but outside of that if you are new to my channel don't forget to subscribe comment down below rate the video and i will see you guys next time thanks for watching peace out